you ever wondered why the speed of a ship is measured in knots rather than miles an hour, kilometers an hour, leagues, or anything else that might seem like the obvious way to do it? It's all due to this instrument here, which is known to us on the Golden Hind as a chip log. It's also known as a ship log, common log, or if you're far too busy to use two syllables to describe it, log. And it's used to measure the speed of a ship. Well, why do you need to know the speed of your ship? If you know how fast you're going, you know how far you're going. Get out your compass and you'll also know which direction you're going to. Then you'll have a good idea of whereabouts in the world you're going. Assuming you knew where you were when you started, of course. So let's take a closer look at our chip log. Here you can see an enormous spool of rope with a handle at each end designed to allow the spool to turn while the handles remain stationary. On the end of the rope we have a quarter circle of log known as the quadrant. The rope is attached to the log in three places, the vertex at the top and at each end of the arc. These three ropes, the bridle, are spliced onto the main rope on the spool. The rope is known as a log line. As you can see, we have knots tied at various places on the rope. Still with me? Great. So, to work out our speed, we take the chip log to the stern or the back end of the ship and we throw the quadrant into the sea, allowing the rope to unravel. Early versions of this would involve just throwing a piece of log into the sea and working out approximately how fast you were going by how soon the log disappeared from view. The problem there, of course, is that you can only afford to throw so much wood into the sea before you run out of wood, an expensive system. With our chip log attached to the rope so we can pull it back in, you will also need a 30 second sand timer, which you'll start as soon as you throw the quadrant into the sea. As the ship pulls away, the quadrant is weighted with these lead plugs to allow it to stay more or less in the same place in the water. After 30 seconds, we reel the quadrant back in and count the number of knots that unravel. Broadly speaking, this is your speed. Each knot is the equivalent of one nautical mile per hour and they are spaced 42 feet apart. Some maths now. If your ship has traveled 42 feet in 30 seconds, you are sailing along at one mile an hour, based on a mile being 5,000 feet. If you've traveled 84 feet in 30 seconds, you're up to two miles an hour and so on. But be warned, you're at sea and many factors can sabotage your maths. For example, a following sea, meaning the waves are going in the same direction as you, can throw off your calculations. As can the currents in the water or the log line being stretched. Even things like temperature and humidity affecting the movement of the sand in the timer are to be taken into account. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. You are now on your way to becoming a Tudor navigator. All you'll need is a compass, a cross staff, a map, an astrolabe, oh, well, a ship, anything else. Well, of course, you'll need a crew and an enormous stretch of water on which to sail, and then you're set. Please subscribe for more videos, and if you have any comments, questions, or interesting related facts, please leave them below. Thank you very much.